What's up YouTube and Amazon, Jefferson here with the starters page and I have this keypad right here. This is actually on Amazon by the company name of KTech. I'll link everything in the description box below if you guys are curious in getting one yourself. So this is the numeric keypad with a three port USB hub on top that's actually built in. Functionality and everything on it is actually really good. I do want to point out that it has a brush aluminum look to it but Everything is actually constructed out of plastic. And to be quite honest, it's not the best feeling on there, but if you guys are looking for something that has more versatility, as in a keypad itself and a hub on there, you guys cannot beat it. This is actually the very first keypad I've ever owned or seen that has this functionality. The hub itself is actually only using the USB 2.0 so if you have a 3.0 hard drive which I actually have right here it will not be optimized for that speed so transferring data and all that is going to be really slow. I actually just transferred a file that is I believe I think a six gigabyte file and it took quite a while, probably like six, eight minutes where it would usually just take two minutes, give or take to transfer in my MacBook Pro Retina. So that was actually kind of a bummer, but if you have just a regular USB that's just the old version where it's 2.0, then this is actually going to be perfect. But if you have a 3.0, I don't recommend actually using it for data transferring unless you really need to or if you're just uh, transferring very small files. The keypad itself is actually really good. I love how tactile it is. Once you plug it in, it's pretty much a plug-in play type of style. So right when you plug it in, you're pretty much good to go. You also have a very subtle blue LED indicator right there. And I personally love that just because that lets you know that there's power being drawn on there. I hate getting devices that doesn't have a, at least an indicator of some sort that it's powered on and for whatever reason, if it's turned off, I just wasted X amount of time just waiting for it. So I like how it's there. It actually never disturbed me at all. So that's not bad. And let me show you the cable. It's actually not a long cable at all. So if you're using this for your desktop, you might need to get an extension or it just really depends how high or how low your tower is compared to your monitor. So if it's on your laptop, it's obviously a perfect size. I'm wrapping it around like that, less cable. I don't like having cables visible. So right when you plug it in, you're pretty much good to go on that end. So what I have is a hard drive right here, a two terabyte hard drive, nothing large. I'm also going to plug in my iPhone 5S on here and also this USB stick right here. This is a, it's a two gigabyte USB stick. So I'm going to plug in all of them and then see how well it actually handles. I personally never had any issues of it crashing or anything like that. It's able to handle everything. So let's plug in my phone first. And it's actually a perfect time to do this because my phone is dying. So you just wanna plug it in right here. I love the USB port itself. It actually plugs in really nice, no issues at all whatsoever. Plug it in right here. The same response time right when I plug it in, no issues. And as you guys could see right here on my desktop, it starts opening up everything automatically. So let me close this. And then let me close this as well. Let me plug in this USB port now, or USB stick, sorry. And then also plug in my hard drive right here. Let me open up my embroidery file right here. So my computer is actually running really slow and it's just only because I'm doing a screen capture as well. If I actually don't have that screen capture running, then I never had any issues with it. This does not slow down your performance or anything. And that's just really dependent on your computer. But I just wanted to explain why my computer is actually slow. So here are files right here. These actually are just JPEGs and yeah, and probably a few other files. That, this is actually pictures of my brother's martial arts studio. So let's close that. Here is my travel hard drive right here. I have everything, works really fine, no issues at all. And then 
as you guys could see, it also connected to my phone right away. No issues. All in all, I actually like this thing. The only thing I'm just disappointed about is just one, the feel of it, just because it's actually made out of plastic instead of aluminum. But the look, it doesn't look bad at all. And to be quite honest, even in person, when looking at it, you can't tell it's actually made out of plastic. The keypad or the buttons themselves is actually really good and very, very responsive. So let me just show you real quick, as you guys could see right here, it's super, super responsive, no issue at all. The latency is actually like none. There's no lag at all. So I like that, it's really good. And to be quite honest, having a USB port on here as an extension, even though it's not 3.0, it's still really good. And since it's actually noted in the website or on Amazon that it's 2.0, I can't blame them for that. I should have just realized it. So all in all, I would actually highly recommend this. No issues, works really, really well. The only problem you guys might have is just the feel of it because it's not aluminum and I'm saying that again because I like I like it when it's just matching but since the color is almost exact compared to my MacBook Pro Retina I can't complain to it because it looks very aesthetically pleasing all right so that's pretty much it this is the K-Tech keypad with a three port USB hub on there built in. My name is Jefferson. If you have any questions put them in the comment box below. I'm more than willing to answer any questions you guys may have. If you guys like this video or if you just found it helpful, give me a thumbs up. It definitely helps out my channel. And like always, guys and girls, take care. Anything else? There is one connector right here that does not get to seem like it gets plugged in. However, I believe this one is...